This is the getting started video for Deed Pro. To run Deed Pro from the main page, click on the Run button. If you haven't logged in yet, you can log in here or in the upper right hand corner. So there are some samples here. Today we'll be looking at sample NC, which is a sample from North Carolina. So let's start a new document. I'll go to File, New, and I'll start entering calls. I'll enter for the lines, it's uh, bearing and distance. So the first call is north, 77 degrees east, 36.5 feet, and you hit enter. There's other formats that the command line supports. You can see that in, in the documentation here. The next call is south. 2 degrees west, 45 feet. The units aren't entered on the command line, but you can change them to meters in the preferences dialog. The next call is south, 71 degrees west, 167 feet. The next call is north, 15 degrees, 30 minutes, 5 seconds, west, 70.8 feet. The next call is north, 77 degrees east, 146.3 feet. So there's one more call left. I'll zoom in. So there'll be one more call that will connect the final two points. Um, you don't have to use the command line. You can also add the calls with the dialog. So I'll do the last one with the, with the call dialog. For this one, it's, uh, it's 10 degrees. It's southeastern quadrant and the distance of 10. And I'll add that so you see the segment is added over here. And then I'll close the add dialog. So at this point, I will save the document. I'm going to call it and see. There is an undo redo ability, so any mistakes you make or any time you want to go back, you can just click undo. So I'll undo a few calls and then redo them. So you can just remember if you make a mistake, you can always hit the, the undo. You can click on the calls on the map, you can see how when you hover over them, they turn green. And when you click on them, they're selected. You can also select the calls in the grid. To edit, you either double click, right click, click edit, or you can actually edit in, in the command line. So I could just change this and hit enter. So you see, uh, you see that it was updated. I'm not going to go into a lot of details about curves in this video, but I'll at least show how you can create a curve. So let's say I want to create a curve 
you have to select the bearing type. In this case, I'm going to select, it's a chord arc, so it's the bearing is along the chord of the curve. I'll pick a chord distance and a radius, let's say 100 feet. Then it, then it can be clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'll change this segment to a curve. And there we go. And it, And I'll just undo that now. So, so it's back to the straight, straight line. And then you have these tabs here. You can see some parcel information, which includes the closing distance, the closing error. Um, there's a description here. Each call will have a description and you can uh, you can add some other descriptions I'll add uh, I'll add some description at the southeast corner of section section one So you can see that that part of the description was added at the beginning of the, of the legal description. You can also add some text on the map. I'll click on the text tool here and add some text. Let's change the color. And you can edit that double click or right click that color. I'll change it to a darker color. And let me save again. When you save, it goes to the download folder. You can also add some some plat information that will show show up in the printout. So I'll go to the options plat menu and I'll just enter deed pro for the user. There's county D page tracked folder. So that will that will show in the printout. So to print you go to the file print menu. You can you can change the size of the map. I'm going to change it to 60% just because I know it'll fit everything on one page. And so here's the printout. It shows some of the plat information at the top, the calls, and the parcel. It, it draws the parcel and the description at the bottom. And I'll save again. You can also add a street map location. You do that by clicking on the map icon, tool icon. If there's no current location, it just shows the entire world. You can enter a latitude longitude here or in my case, I'm going to just type in a location and a little purple move button comes up. I'll click apply and I'll try to put it in the location that I know that the house is. Just in some of these surveys, you may need to rotate the, the survey. So I'll rotate this one. I'll use a negative three, 
apply the rotation. It rotates around the initial point. You can go back to the plane map, clicking on the street map tool, so you can toggle back and forth. And now when you make when you do a print printout, it will show it will show the street map, the location, as well as the plane map and the other information. So that's all for this video. I'll save my work again. And that'll be it for this video. If you have any questions, just send an email. Thank you for listening. Bye.